Major League Wrestling fans. My name is Stephen New, and I'm so proud that my law office can bring to each and every one of you Major League Wrestling. I've been a professional wrestling fan since August 1981, my entire life. If you or a loved one need legal services, contact me at newlawoffice.com or at 800-208-9169. So come on and join us as we enjoy some great in-ring action. The anticipation has been building. What a main event we have just moments away. Loki versus Davy Boy Smith, too. Now, think about this. Few men have pinned Loki in an MLW ring. One of them is Davy Boy Smith Jr. Will he be the first to do it twice and continue on his road to being the first ever back to back Opera Cup winner in the history of wrestling's oldest tournament? Now, keep in mind, Loki holds the record for matches won by knockout in MLW. And although ringside predictions are almost dead even, Davy Boy coming into this matchup as the defending Opera Cup winner, he does come into this matchup as the slight favorite. Look at the intensity of low key. Not a whole lot more needs to be said about how important this matchup is to the Lone Wolf of Brooklyn. Here we go. Opening round matchup in the Opera Cup and a rematch from last year's opening round where Low Key nearly finished off Davey Boy with a choke before Smith improvised into a pinning combo, essentially bridging Key's choke into an irreversible pin. That was something else, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, what a great battle they had last year in the Opera Cup. And now we finally have the rematch. Low Key has been chomping at the bit, wanting to get his hands on Davey Boy Smith Jr. The winner of this matchup will take on Richard Holiday in the semifinals. Holiday defeated TJP to advance. Did I just see a handshake? Did I imagine yeah, you that? Yeah, he did. You know, low key is all about respect. You look at the attire he's wearing in this match. He's honoring Masahiro Chono. This is an outfit he wore in all Japan at Royal Road 2013 when he collaborated with Chono. And Aki Bono took out the knee of low key. He came up short at Royal Road. He really felt like he let Chono down. So he wanted to wear this outfit in the Opera Cup to honor Masahiro Chono. He wants to win the Opera Cup and, and really show the world he's still on top of his game after such an illustrious career. And of course, Davy Boy's attire honoring his dad, the late great British Bulldog. And it's interesting you mentioned All Japan Pro Wrestling because as a tag team, the British Bulldogs, some of their earliest success came in All Japan in the real world tag league. As far as this matchup right here, right, neither Smith nor Loki with much of an advantage yet. In the early going here, I mean, certainly, Davy Boy at 6'6", 265, the huge weight advantage, the huge height advantage, but low key. Always, you talk about the size of the fight in the dog, nobody embodies that more than low key. Yeah, the lone wolf of Brooklyn. And let's not forget low key, the knockout artist. You think about the issues he's had with King Mo and Dan Lambert, they've tried to, to jam up his year. They've successfully got some uh, State, uh, state athletic commissions to, to suspend him, some trumped up charges. So certainly uh, Loki has that on his mind, but first things first here, he can focus on King Mo and Dan Lambert later on, but hey, he wants to win this rematch right here, right now, tonight. That loss against Davy Boy in the Opera Cup tournament last year, that's been eating at him. 
all year long, and he said it a couple of times. He feels like he has something to prove. Yeah, we're seeing some great mat wrestling here in the early going. If you're low key, you're looking for that flash right cross, according to the martial arts advanced research systems. Low key wins 100% of his matches when he hits the flash right cross. As we've mentioned many times, Davy Boy's grandfather, the great Stu Hart, the last to win the tournament in 1948 before MLW brought this tournament back a year ago. I don't expect this match to be over quickly unless Key, like you said, can catch Davy Boy off guard and hit him with that right flash. I got a feeling that this one, uh, not so much a, a stalemate, but uh, perhaps a marathon. It's going to take a lot out of both of these guys. You certainly have seen the fighters a little cautious here in the early going. I mean, there's so much at stake for Davy Boy. He won the Opera Cup in 2019. He's trying to win it in 2020 back to back. I mean, this thing has been around for over 100 years, and I don't think anybody's ever gone back to back as the Opera Cup winner. The Lone Wolf of Brooklyn, low key. It's been very controversial at times. And trying to wear down the legs of Davy Boy. That's smart. The size advantage that Davy Boy has. See the Opera Cup there. Well, yeah, because he's not 6'6 six, six when he's well, on that, the mat, right? Well, that, that, that's what I'm saying. If you can ground Davy Boy, if you can take away his legs, obviously that negates the size advantage. And low key, who, who as a point of pride, has always been in, in recent time very focused on the heavyweight division here in MLW. Like a Mike Tyson, he's smaller in size for the heavyweight division, but he, I mean, he's got those strikes that can knock you out at any moment. And if you're Davy Boy, you're watching out for that at all times. It only takes one strike from Low Key and the lights can go out. Low Key may be the, uh, the knockout artist, but Davy Boy Smith Jr., I mean, he, he's like a, a freight train, a convoy of trucks coming at you. Yeah, and if you're low key, you're just happy to be back, right? You had King Mo and Dan Lambert trying to jam up low key's 2020. They were successful in getting him suspended by different state athletic commissions uh, on these charges stemming from a, a, a brawl that was at a press conference in the spring. And, and low key thinks the charges were bogus. I'm going to side with Dan Lambert. If Dan Lambert says it happened, I believe oh, come it. On. Bootlicker. No, I'm not licking no, boots you're, here. So you're, so you're, no, he owns so the most a, successful oh, fight team in the on. world. Two count there by Davy Boy, nearly put it away. It has the, uh, it's got the arm tied up. Key trying to find a way out. Yeah, and all that body weight across the upper body of low key. Gonna be tough to wiggle out here. Referee in great position as well. Key able to turn to his side a bit. That may be a, that may be a way out. Yeah, but, but I mean, look at how Davy Boy has the arm tied up, the wrist locked in. Whoa. Well, normally you would have wanted to roll through to alleviate the pressure, but Davy's biceps are just so big. Yeah, exactly. He was able to get a two count on Davy Boy, surprisingly. And uh, right now, Smith. What doesn't he have a hold of? No, I mean, he's doing a good job here. Low-key able to escape. But anytime you're facing a knockout artist like Low-key, it totally changes the strategy. You really don't want to take chances. You don't want to leave yourself open and, and keep the guy on the mat. Because if the guy's on the mat, it's very hard for him to knock you out. Grab a submission, sure, but hard to throw a knockout blow when you're, when you're having to strike up. Low-key, the, uh, the focus on, on precision. Discipline, respect, it's everything that low-key is about. He considers himself a lethal weapon. And you don't love him or hate him. Low-key oh, Hold on, hold on, David, David oh, could yeah. be hurt. I mean, no, he could the, be, the, yeah. the dragon screw leg whip there, I mean, just with such precision. And when you're a, the size of Davy Boy, I mean, to get thrown over with that kind of awkward angle, that knee could be hurt, Rich. And now low-key taking advantage, and this is what we were talking about. You know, there may have been handshakes, but Loki is a lethal weapon. Well, yeah, and I mean, it's totally legal. There's nothing dirty. And even if it was dirty, I'd be in favor of it. But there's nothing dirty about a dragon screw leg whip. It's just a very dangerous uh, a move and very susceptible to injury. 
when you have that done to your knee. Now, Key told Sports Illustrated earlier this year, he said, you know what, whether, whether it's good or bad, no matter what people think about me, there's one thing that they will do, and that is respect me. Now, you have to respect Low Key, everything he's done all over the world for so many years. Wow. I think about the mentality of a low key, that he's still hung up from a loss in all Japan seven years ago, right? Yeah. He feels like he let Chono down and trying to honor him here tonight. So someone like low key that is so focused on history, what would the Opera Cup mean to him to be able to bring that trophy home from 1915? Well, even the match from a year ago, you talk about him being hung yeah. up on a match from seven years ago, he's hung up on that match from a year ago. And a beautiful suplex there by Davey Boy. Low key seems to hold on here. Lateral press and the shoulder up into low key is the kind of, he can't let things go. No. He holds on to that anger and he just perseverates on it. I mean, he's the kind of guy that's probably at night agonizing over a T ball game he lost as a five year old, right? I mean, that's just the kind of intense competitor that he is. Hasn't made a, a lot of friends with that kind of a mindset, but you cannot, uh, you can't take anything away from the highly competitive nature that Key brings to the ring, whether you, whether you like him or not. Those are the fighters that belong in MLW. Let's be honest, the guys that take things so seriously, they basically drive themselves crazy. Smith has promised oh, Hold on, he, he couldn't bust him open here. This one. Yeah, he's driving the elbows in. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. The forehead. Oh, ball, wait a minute here. Key got dumped. Davy Boy using his, uh, his strength to just send low Key flying over the ropes. Crashing down, I think he caught at least part of the mat, but never mind that. Davy Boy could be split open here, and Low Key could be done for yeah, and after being dumped from 15, 20 feet up top. And those kinds of elbows striking directly down at that angle, illegal in most combat sports. And, and that's one of the things about pro wrestling. You have so many techniques that are barred elsewhere, and Low Key loves to bring those to the table. Davy Boy able to knock him down to the floor. And, and, and try to recover here, but the point of the elbow right to the forehead uh, really can shake you up, Rich. 20 count on the outside of the ring in MLW. Yeah, and it gives the guys a chance to work out there. Gives the, I mean, there's so many creative things you can do on the floor when you don't have that 10 count weighing on your mind. And now he's just kind of stepping on the ankle. I mean, 265 pounds stepping on your ankle is not going to feel good, Rich. Stepping on the wrist or the hand as well. Key's in a lot of trouble. And he's stepping right on the fingers was Davy Boy. And not uh, giving any quarter. Is he grabbing the chin hand? <laughs> I believe he is. Might have been digging the fingers right underneath the chin. And now Davy Boy. Oh, man, with that outside in. Might have been a brain buster cover. And low key able to power out at two. I mean, we have so much respect, Rich early on in this match, and now things are starting to get a little nasty. I mean, grabbing at the chin here, uh, stomping digits, which, you know, really can break a guy's finger. Uh, I mean, sometimes when you start with that much respect, the smallest slight from your opponent, and you're ready to get down and dirty. Oh, you know that, oh, wait a minute here, Davey boy, oh no. Low key is in rough, rough shape. That shoulder was bothering him to begin yeah. with. And, uh, wow. I'm still in. You hear low key, I'm still in. You, you cannot, uh, you can't ever question the competitive nature, the competitive spirit of low key. But Davy Boy now gonna do more damage or yeah, attempt look, to anyway. Yeah, look how quickly he slithered to the ropes there. That's the, I mean, we should have a break here. That, but that's the experience of low key. He always knows exactly where he is and he knows the quickest way to get his body from point A to point B. I mean, not a wasted second trying to go for that rope break. You see the British flag in the, uh, on the boots, it says Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith indeed, the son of the legendary British Bulldog. Low key, trying to get some feeling back in his left arm. <laughs> Davy Boy quickly right back on the attack, a kick to the sternum, the toes right in the throat. Well, that's what we were just talking about, things getting a little dirty here, toes to the throat pulling on the facial hair, trying to break fingers. I mean, the referee's got to try to get some control here uh, be before this thing really starts to spiral. Davey Boy Smith doing a number on low key's left arm. Yeah, and look at the athleticism and grace from the big man there. Dragging Key back in. 
And a two count in this Opera Cup matchup, first round. And both men learned so much when they faced each other last year in the Opera Cup, taking that knowledge into the Opera Cup rematch. You got low key basically fighting for personal honor. You have Davy Boy fighting for that family honor, but also to try to go back to back to repeat as Opera Cup champion. I mean, it would be such an incredible feat for him as he goes low there with the knee. If you're Davy Boy, you came up short challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship, but what a redemption it would be to win the Opera Cup two years in a row. It is so difficult to repeat as a champion, no matter what the sport. Stanley Cup, the Super Bowl, will hold on here. Key with the crucifix and a kick out. Davy Boy, oh man, nearly got caught. But answers quickly, big kick right to the gut and going right back to wrenching the arm. Man, low key has to be in a tremendous amount of pain. The referee in there to check. Low key can continue. Davey Boy right back on him. Continues to focus on the left arm. You know, you're not going to get a guy to submit to this kind of wrist lock, but you're putting so much torque on the bicep and the tricep. It's going to make difficult. It's going to make it difficult for low key. Uh, to utilize some of the moves that he likes to, and now bringing it across the throat. I mean, Davy Boy's playing the long game here, which he probably should. Davy Boy again, targeting the shoulder and the left arm of low key. The Bulldog has been vicious. Into the cover, and ties up the arm and the wrist again. Referee in great position. Smith is played this very, very smart. He knows that Key maybe has a step or two in speed on him, so he's done a nice job of grounding his yeah, opponent. He, he's not putting all his weight on him right now, but the reason he's doing that is it makes it harder for your opponent to escape sometimes if you leave a little bit of space so that when they move, you can counter. Uh, an interesting choice there from Davy Boy while he had that hold to leave a little breathing room so he could pounce if low key moved. That was a nasty, uh, it was almost like a Russian sickle from behind that yes. caught low key right in the eye. And again now, Davy Boy continues the assault on the left arm. Yeah, all that body weight dropping the leg across the arm of low key. And if you're Davy Boy, you gotta be feeling good right now about how this match is going. The, the way that early on where everybody was kind of hesitant, then things got a little dirty, and now it's been all Davy Boy the last couple minutes. Oh, but what a counter from Low Key. And Key able to roll through, trying to put it away. Davy Boy out at two. Kick to the gut. You know, it's such a rare combination of skills that Low Key has. That he's both a knockout artist and he can pin you so quickly out of nowhere. That victory roll. Didn't see that coming. Davy Boy definitely didn't see it coming. And, and that's hard to prepare for, Rich. When the guy can knock you out with one blow and roll you up out of nowhere, too, you know, it's very difficult to know what, what defensive posture to use against the fighter like that. Low key trying to hold on to that top rope for dear life. Instead, Davy Boy dusts his hands off after the German suplex and now into the cover to put it away. Is it enough? Key out at two. Such a great main event we have here this week on MLW Fusion. Opening round of the Opera Cup. Davy Boy Smith Jr. versus Low Key as he pulls back on the fingers here. Two of the greatest athletes in the world. Trying to tie up the leg as well, keep the leg in control. Yeah, because that's the leg he likes to go to the ropes with, and wow. he's able to free it. But, you know, Davy Boy saw it coming, he just couldn't stop it. Winner of this matchup advances to the semifinals. He'll take on Richard Holiday of the Dynasty. The victory over TJP, sending Holiday into the second round. And now Davy Boy stalking the Lone Wolf of Brooklyn, looking for another German suplex. And again, Key reaching out, fingertips on the ropes. He's able to get free and on a double stop. What do you say, Davy? What do you say? What do you say? Key still favoring the left arm, but was able to. Uh, find a way out of an impending German suplex. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was gonna go for a cover. He started rolling to the ropes. 
I don't know if he wants to go up top and, and, and go for a top rope double stomp, possibly, or maybe just needing the ropes to pull himself up, Rich. So much damage has been done to that shoulder. Caught Davy Boy up top, twice in the forehead. And off the ropes, kick connected. I don't know if uh, Key got all of it, but he got enough to stun Davy Boy. And now Key trying to tie Davy Boy up. And it's that big left arm able to, able to break the hold. Wait a minute here. Davy Boy in, in a rough spot here. Is he trying to bite his ankle? I, 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 Davy Boy is doing whatever he can. Whatever he can to try to get some separation. Finally grabbed the, uh, the second rope and low key kept that in tight as long as he could. All right, this matchup. So much on the line, our main event this week here on MLW Fusion. Oh, we've seen low key do this so many times to so many top competitors. Those brutal kicks right to the chest. Oh, faked him out. Now he's going right after the forehead. Oh! And Key now lining Smith up. Davy Boy doesn't know where he is. Low Key doing Chono proud here in the Opera Cup. Leg hooked. And Davy Boy stays alive. Low Key heard him there. Kidding me. Can't believe it that that wasn't enough to put this match away. Low Key going up top. Known for that diving double foot stomp. And Davey Boy heads him off at the pass. Yeah, he might have been playing possum there. Out of nowhere, he got up so quickly. I mean, a lot of speed for a guy, 6'6". Six, six. Uh, Davey Boy's got a motor, for sure. You can almost picture him being a running back. A gigantic running yeah. back. Yeah. Oh, low key almost spilling under the floor there. Great so, balance. And so dangerous when you're on that top rope. Raining elbows now in the back of Davy Boy's neck. That forearm yeah, sends this is him tumbling, and here he comes! Davy Boy able to roll out of the way, and oh, power slam, cover! Davy Boy to put it away, no! I thought he got him. I thought that was it. Out comes the mouth guard, and you know what that means. Yeah, what a, what a look on the face of Davy Boy, son of the British Bulldog. Trying to go back to back in the Opera Cup. And Key using his toes to uh, to keep himself tied up in the ropes. And look at this Dragon Sleeper. Yeah, Dragon Clutch on the ropes. Has to break it before five to avoid the disqualification. And now transitions to an another submission hold. Oh, hold on. Yeah, this is reminiscent of last year's Opera Cup final. When Davy Boy was in the same predicament. He rolled low key up. Looks like he's trying to do the same, but key counters. He got him. Low key got Davy Boy. To the semifinals of the 2020 Low Key. What an upset. And what a redemption from a year ago for Low Key. Yeah, huge win for Low Key. They call him an assassin for a reason. We talked about it, Rich. Yes, he can knock you out but he can also catch you out of nowhere with a pin. And that's exactly what he did here tonight. Beating Davy Boy, the dream of the repeat is dead. And Lil Key is your winner. Now well, Davy Boy showing some nice sportsmanship in what has to be a heartbreaking defeat here tonight in the Opera Cup. Lil Key the winner, moving on to the semifinals of the Opera Cup tournament. You gotta love the uh, the humility and the sportsmanship displayed here by Davy Boy Smith Jr. But the semifinals are set. On one side, Filthy Tom Lawler will battle ACH, and on the other, it is Low Key moving on to battle Richard Holiday. It's gonna be a disappointing feeling here for Davy Boy, though. Yeah, obviously very disappointing for Davy Boy. But let's shower Low Key with praise. Great victory for him in an illustrious career. And could we be looking at the next winner of the Opera Cup? Woo! Yeah!